Through sign after sign, God was demonstrating his power so that Pharaoh would stop oppressing the people of Egypt and let them go out of slavery. The more Pharaoh hardened his heart, the more of his own people came to believe in the power and majesty of Yahweh and began to side with Moses and the Israelites. This all came to a head at the final plague when the angel of the Lord would move through Egypt and kill every firstborn son as judgment on the corruption of the nation. However, if God's angel would come to judge all injustice and oppression, there would be no one left. Instead, God offered to pass over the homes of those who call out to him by instituting the Passover. They were to each take a lamb from the flock and care for it for several days, and then to sacrifice the animal in worship and eat the meal in haste. They were also to remove all yeast from their house and to only eat unleavened bread. The blood of the sacrifice was a sign that an innocence had taken their place, and the unleavened bread and meal eaten in haste were a sign that they were quickly leaving their old lives behind. With even more meaning, when Jesus celebrated it at his last meal, before offering himself as a sacrifice, was to be a memorial for all generations that God saves his people out of physical and spiritual bondage through the sacrifice he provides. And so, the Israelites celebrated the Passover in the shadow of the angel of death. All who asked for it received lambs and countless riches freely from the Egyptians. They ate the Passover meal after sacrificing the lambs in worship. They spread the blood on their doorsteps and survived the judgment as all the firstborn sons in Egypt died. Then they prepared to leave the pain of Egypt behind forever.